This video is brought to you by fishhuntshoot.com. For more and bigger trout, go to fishhuntshoot.com. down and watch the line like I showed you. Okay, there. Now, up, set, reel. Oh, another big one. You pay attention. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. You did that perfectly. Yeah, absolutely perfect, Kevin. Thank you. They must know when it's your turn to bring in a fish because all the fish, will, <laughs> big ones bite. Nah, that's just a regular one. Yeah. Come here. You came alive now. Over there. You got him. Taking that drag. Get over there. You breathe. You're fine. Uh -oh. Tip down. Uh -oh. Get him out from under that rope. There you go. Lead him around like a dog on a leash. Quite a fight there. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. no, no. Oh, no. Tip over here. Oh, wait. No, he's on the rope. Go over here. Uh -oh. Go over the top. Tip over here. Nope. Go. Shoot. Tip over here. Tip over here. Went all the way around it. Around it, yeah. Okay, open your bale. What? Just open the bale. Okay. Who is right? <laughs> Who did it? I'll get it. I'll get the hook out of him, and then I think we can get it off. Come here. Right there, guys. Howdy guys, I've been out doing a lot of bait fishing for trout. You know, it's late fall, we're heading into winter. I've been out soaking power bait, inflated worms, stuff like that. I've even been doing some plugging with cast masters, junior trigger spoons, and you know, lures like that, stuff that I can cast. But, uh, howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Well, I've been out doing a lot of trout fishing. I've been soaking bait, I've been soaking power bait, soaking inflated worms. I've been fan casting with, you know, Trigger Spoon Juniors, Cast Masters, stuff like that. And of course, for all that work, I've been using a spinning rod, all right? But one of the downsides, well, one of the upsides of a spinning rod is they're very, very easy to cast with. Um, they fight fish great. Even a, a modestly priced spinning reel usually has a pretty good drag. In this case, I've got an Abu Garcia S. Um, those are the benefits of, of spinning gear. You know, number one is that you could you could cast them really easy, really effectively. An absolute beginner can cast with a spinning rod first day on the water, all right? One of the downsides, though, of a spinning rod is the fact that they can twist the line and they can twist it very quickly, okay? Here are some, some thoughts on how you can keep from getting your line twisted up when you're using spinning gear. Number one, let me cast this out here. I'm gonna cast this out. I'm gonna just make a, I'm just gonna make a quick little cast like that right out there. Get that on down there. Okay, now see, I've cast it. My bait has sunk down. I'm actually standing on the front of the FHS pontoon boat, but I just casted that out and uh, you know, we all know that if you just, with the bale home after you've cast it, if you just turn that handle, that bale will close and you are ready to reel. Unfortunately, every time you do that, you put a twist in the line. Doesn't sound like much, but if you're out throwing a cast master and you're making 100 or 200 casts a day, guess what? You're putting 100 or 200 twists in your line. Next thing you know, your line is all twisted up and you're gonna have a problem, okay? So what you wanna do, what a much better solution is, let me reel this bag up and I'll show you what you wanna do. I'm gonna make another cast here. Grab that, cast it out there like that. Hit the water, I'm gonna kinda of let it sink. It's sinking down, okay? It's down on the bottom. 
and I want to close the bail. Instead of snapping it shut with the real handle, I'm just going to reach up here and close it. That won't put a twist in the line. You just got to remember to do it. And sometimes when you're out there in the heat, heat of battle and you're excited, you'll forget to do that. Okay. So that's one way. That's the foremost way that you could keep twists from forming in a spinning reels line. The other thing you want to do is remember when you've got a conventional casting reel, if you're reeling on a fish and he's running and he's pulling out drag, well, it's fine. You can't twist the line. But with a spinning rod, if the fish is running away from you, or even if it's kind of a, a stalemate situation where he's he's holding against the drag and you're reeling, let me let me pin this down, I'll loosen that a little bit. See, hear that right there? Okay, when it you're twisting the line. If you're not retrieving line and you're making that bail go around, you're twisting the line. So remember, when you're fighting a fish, keep that rod tip loaded against the fish but only turn that spinning reel's bail when you can actually gain line. You want to keep the line tight, but you don't want to be working the handle when line isn't being retrieved because that's going to do nothing but twist your line really, really quickly. Anyway, I know these tips are going to help you when you're out fishing with spinning gear because nothing is as annoying as line twist. And we are always fighting here at FHS um, and here at HF. FHS, I can't even talk. We are always fighting line twist, and that's what you can do if you're using spinning gear to battle line twist. If you're looking for gear, spinning rods, more, or if you want to book a fishing trip with me up at Collins Lake, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and we will hook you up with what you're looking for. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm Kel Kellogg. Let's go fishing. <laughs>